Hey guys, Mike here with Things You Might Like, and today I wanted to show you a setting in Reshade that I found can help save a few FPS when you're in-game. Now I just wanted to go over this real quick, and what I have going on right now is I have the game set at 2560 by 1440 because at 1920 by 1080 in the menu screen I was capping out at 144 frames per second. You can check that in the top left corner. And I wanted to show you the effect that this can have. Now, it's more dramatic when you're running at higher frame rates, but when you're in game and you're floating around that 60, around that 70, every few FPS really make a difference. And so hopefully this setting can kind of help you break that 60 FPS threshold and get you the two, three, four, five that you need. And this is gonna res revolve around clarity. So clarity is gonna be one of the most popular settings that people use for player unknowns battlegrounds because it adds that detail. For example, if you look at my image now, it's got you know some decent detail you can see back here in the wood. Um, but if I turn off my settings, I have my reshade settings turned on right now. If I turn it off, it begins to look pretty fuzzy, um, especially you can see in the background. So that's why a lot of people use this clarity setting so they can get that. You can also note that right now I'm floating around 112, 113 FPS. And with this clarity setting all the way turned up, we're going to be looking at clarity radius for this. When I turn my settings on, that's what's going to cause it to uh, to take a dive. So now it's dropping down you know, quite a bit, 13, 15 FPS, something like that. So what I found is that this does not need to be on 4. And if you move it down to 1, you can mess with the rest of these clarity settings. And it will still give you a great effect without taking a huge hit on your GPU and on your, your frames per second. So if I just go to one, you can see how that popped up a few FPS. So again, we'll back out. Right now I'm running about 112 or so. Turn it on with the new setting and I'm dropping down to 96, 97 instead of all the way down to 90 and below. So it saves a small percentage, but I really think that percentage can make a difference. I'm running on a 60 Hertz monitor, so it doesn't make a huge difference to me but I just kind of like these settings and when I'm in those heavy situations where the game, the game's poor optimization really, <laughs> really starts to shine, then I like being able to save just those few FPS because you never know when you're gonna need them. So go ahead and try this in your game. One thing I've noticed is depending on your resolution, the system you're running, if you're running multiple monitors, reshade is, is very different from system to system. And this is just one setting that helped with a popular reshade plugin that makes my game look better and you know I don't have to take as big of a hit as I usually do. I tried adaptive sharpen, I've tried other settings in clarity and they really tank your system. And so for now this is what I like. I'll do some more experimentation and see if there's anything out there that can give me this this good look without taking such a hit on my machine. If you guys have a setting that you really like that you know gives you the look you're you're going for without hurting your machine too bad and you don't take a huge frame dip. Let me know in the comments below. I would love to take a look at it because Reshade is a very comprehensive and very complex program. You can jump into it really quick, but you can dive really deep into it and get very specific with what you want to do with it. So any settings that I haven't explored, which I'm sure are many, I would love to hear about if they can help me and make my game look better. If this video helped you out, would you guys mind throwing a like my way and be sure to subscribe. I really like doing these sorts of tips and tricks videos because this game is in early access. There are a lot of things to navigate. And so this is just one way we can all work together to get those chicken dinners. So thanks for stopping in. This is Mike with things you might like, and I'll see you with my next cool thing.